Hey everyone, I'm doing an unboxing for uh, this new rocket stove that I just got. Uh, it's the EcoZoom Dura, I believe. Yeah, um, so it's meant to use wood and other kinds of biomass. Um, so basically, this is the stove. Uh, here's the box that it came in. Um, it's got like some cool information on the back here about different ways you can cook with it. Apparently you can use like a wire grill and skewers, which I didn't, um, I don't know, I haven't done that yet. It's kind of wondering about that, so we'll have to try that sometime, see how it goes. Uh, some basic instructions here. So you know, it just came packaged with like, you know, packing material, which, you know, could use to start a fire, especially that paper, It'd be really good kindling. Um, so this is the actual stove. It's like, it feels pretty, pretty heavy. One thing I didn't realize when, um, when I bought this thing is that I, this, uh, basically like the inside of the stove is, uh, only as wide as this opening here. So like, um, you know, back into here, like it's solid here. I, I was kind of thinking it was going to be more of an open barrel kind of more space inside but i think this actually makes it probably more efficient so like the wall is actually pretty thick like in some places it's like that thick um and you know here's the opening so i think it was listed on amazon as like 12 or 14 pounds or something and it definitely feels like it um and it's you know it's it's not that big but it feels pretty hefty um, and then this is the little uh, fuel stand or basically the sticks go on top. So this came with it too. Um, and then it also came with some uh, kind of paperwork. Um, just looking through this, it looks a little misleading because uh, it talks about, you know, like doors opening and, you know, being a top door, being two fuel doors. Um, which there's there's no sliding door or anything here. It's just one opening. Um, and this is for the Zoom Dura, but I'm wondering if maybe they got it mixed up with the Zoom Versa or if it's uh, if it's maybe another, if this is maybe another model altogether. Uh, so the, the Zoom, Eco Zoom Dura, which is what I have, um, is only uh, apparently burning like wood and biomass, which says here um, but uh, down here it also lists charcoal as a type of fuel um, which as far as I understand this this um, stove isn't really made to burn charcoal uh, but their um, Versa model apparently does so anyway I think this might be like mixed up um, but anyway that is the correct stove that I have um, and we talk about some things here, and then there's a little pamphlet here um, talking about how they're impacting the world. I haven't really looked at this or looked into it. But anyway, so, uh, so this is the stove. Um, I'll do one more look. So this is like the opening in the top. Basically, like the wall is like this thick near the top. Um, so I imagine it insulates pretty well, and they say... You know, I think like two to four sticks is all you really need to keep a good flame going and kind of seeing why now because of how like how thick and insulated this wall is. Um, if we look at the back, it just almost looks like a bucket or a paint can. Uh, it's about the size of maybe a two gallon bucket. Um, and it's got the handles with the silicone on them. Um, Take one more look inside. There's like this little, uh, feels like some kind of stone or brick or something um, that's lining the bottom, which uh, kind of moves around. Um, and I think probably, uh, I'm not sure how you would clean it because it's, it's not quite flush with the side. So there might be some ash that falls down in there. And, um, there's some screws on this uh, this panel because this is this stone is kind of held in by this lip, 
and this uh, outer sort of bracket has um, some screws here, but then it also has like some rivets, I think those are called, where I'm not sure how they would detach. But anyway, I guess we'll we'll figure that out as we go along. Um, so once again, this is the Eco Zoom Dura unboxing, and uh, I'm looking forward to playing around with this thing. So hope that was helpful to someone. All right, everyone have a good day. And uh, oh yeah, I have to say like and subscribe because everyone else does. So like and subscribe. All right, cheers, folks.